Hey what's up guys, it's Franklin Manuel here and in this video today guys, I'll be showing you guys how you can link your card to your PayPal account. Yes, this is actually one video that people have been requesting you know so much in this channel because earlier I did a video you know walking you guys through the step-by-step -step process on how to create a PayPal account right and you know people have been clamoring oh how do I get to link my card I have not been able to link my card and on and I decided to go ahead and make this video right so this video is basically gonna be walking you through how to link your card to your PayPal account right so um basically um, what I'm gonna do now right is to go ahead and log into my PayPal account so let me go ahead and click on my PayPal Right, so once I click on this now, it would get to open up my dashboard. Right, so this is a fresh new um, account I just created for this purpose. Right, so um, now you can see that you know this has zero zero balance. I've actually showed you guys, you know, a um, few other PayPal accounts that I use. If you've not seen the video about how to set up a PayPal account that receive and send funds, so if you've not seen the video where I actually outlined the step by step process on how to create a working PayPal account that send and receive funds. You can go ahead and check this video at the top here where you can actually see it or you should check in the description section below so that you can go ahead and watch that video first to create a PayPal account properly well right and also come back and see how you can link your card right so this is actually you know um, what you need to do the third thing i want you to do is to just stay here right with me and watch through this video to the end right watch through this video Till the end guys so quickly I'll go ahead and you know um, show you guys how to link up your um, card to your PayPal account right so um, firstly is what type of card do I link to PayPal right because the major question I actually had is people decided or tried to use different cards from different banks right if you're in Nigeria you go to use GT, Zenith, Access Bank card, Visa, Visa MasterCard and everything and for some people it worked they were able to link up their card to PayPal and for so a whole lot of others, you know, they were not able to meet the goal, right? So today in this video, guys, I'll be sharing with you guys the card I use, you know, to link up my, um, to my PayPal account. And so this is the card I use. Yeah, it's a UBA prepaid card or it's called the UBA AfriCard. Yeah, guys, you can see this card and this is the card I use. Sorry, I had to block out my details, right? You don't need it for anything. Right, so this is the card I use and you know, um, this is what I'll be adding up to my PayPal account right now. Right, so quickly guys, um, alright guys, so from this particular section here, you need to just come over and hit this certain um, icon here, right, and once you hit this, you come over to account settings. So you click on account settings guys, yeah, so um, once you hit account settings, it brings you up to this particular page where you're going to be seeing a whole lot of options. Right, so if you've actually watched the first video on how to create a PayPal account, you would have seen that we actually came here to make, you know, one or two settings at this particular point, right? Yeah, so let me quickly scroll down now and go to Money Bank and Cards. You can see I'm going to go to Money Bank and Cards. And once I hit on Money Bank and Cards, it is actually going to open another option where, you know, I will get a drop down of the different, you know, um, um, bank or card um, option that I need to add up here. Right, so quickly, I'll go ahead and hit on link a new card. Right, so I'll click on link a new card. Yeah, so once I click on link a new card, it actually brings up the different option of you know uh, me imputing my card details. So I'll go ahead and input my card details now, right, and then link the card. So I'll go ahead and input my card details. Alright guys, so I'm done with, you know, um, imputing my card details and all I need to do is click on link card. So I'll hit the button now. Alright guys, so you can see that it didn't go through the first time, right? I don't know why, I think it's just network. So I'm going to impute the details again and, um, you know, see if it goes this time. Yeah, so once I'm done with imputing the figures, I'll click on link card again. All right, so it says your, you just linked your Visa prepaid card and you can see I have just successfully, you know, linked my card down to my, you know, PayPal account. Guys, like I actually have said earlier, right, you should, you know, um, use the card that I just showed you guys in this video 
to be able to successfully link your card, right? So right in front of you now, I've actually been able to link this card. And once you link this card, you're going to get a mail, right? Right now, I'm looking at my phone and I've been able to receive a mail, right? And I'm going to put this up on the screen so that you can see, right? So it says, um, Dear Belfcroft, right? On 2nd of November 2020, you added a card and then with 5060, right? So this is the mail from PayPal and you can see, and at the same time, once you're done, you go ahead and click on done, right? You go ahead and click on done. Yeah, so um, once you click on done, you would actually need to still go over and verify your card. So you can see guys, that this card is unverified right now. Right, so let me click on edit and see um, why it's not on very why it's not verified yet. So once I click on edit, it says okay, um, you will be sent some details down. So let me click on confirm your card. Right, so um, you're actually confirming your card now because you know um, PayPal wants to be sure that that card is actually yours and you know you have access to it. Right, so um, the major thing here is at this particular point. PayPal is going to send you some codes, right? So PayPal is going to send you some codes and all you need to do is just look out for those codes that PayPal sent to you and, you know, um, you get to impute it in, right? So it says here, after you request a code, we'll charge you $1.95 to your card. It appears within one to three business days. After you confirm it, we'll refund the amount, right? So this basically means that if you're actually going to be putting your card in here, you need to have some cash in that card, right? Because people are saying now they're going to charge you $1.95 to send you the code and after which they will refund it back to you. So make sure that there's cash in the card. At least you can put 2,000 naira. That's actually quite okay, right? So it's money that it goes in, PayPal takes it off to, you know, send you. So you get a debit alert and the code and you get it back. So for me now, I actually got a debit um, alert via the mail, right? And guys, I'm going to show you this mail. I'm going to show you this mail that I've gotten from PayPal. I'm currently looking at, looking at it and uh, it's on my screen now, right? So you can see this mail and I also got the code from PayPal. Now you're going to get a description on the debit alert we're going to be getting. You're going to see like on mine, you can see the code it has here. See the description, it says PP, then you get four digit code, then code by the end, right? So that is what PayPal needs. Right, so I just got that alert now on my phone. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, so you guys you can you can get to see what I'm talking about too. Right, so I'll click on done, and once I click on done, and I've received that you know debit alert with the code for verification inside it, I will come back here again and I'll click on enter the code to confirm. Yeah, so once I click on enter the code to confirm, I'll just go over and impute the code. So my code is this and um, confirm yes so it says here your visa prepaid um, card has been successfully confirmed so once i do that i'll go ahead and click on done right so um basically guys as i've clicked on done now i also received another mail from paypal saying that you know it says here account limit lifted right congratulations your withdrawal limit has been lifted. You can now withdraw unlimited funds from PayPal, right? So um, you can basically see now, guys, that um, our any limits on our account has been lifted because we've been able to impute this card into our PayPal account, right? So now this is the second part of the whole um, PayPal account process which we've gone through. Like I said earlier, I've actually done the first video which actually walked us through how to set up our PayPal account from Nigeria. And in this second video where I, oh, I'm also walking you guys through how to link up your card, right? The right card to use for your PayPal account, right? And in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to withdraw funds from PayPal, right? I'll show you how to withdraw funds from PayPal, right? In Nigeria, right? So um, if you love this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, right? And guys, make sure that you drop a comment for me, ask your question down below. I reply all comments and I would love if you're watching this video, make sure you just drop a comment. Just please guys, make sure to drop a comment down below, right? And also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit the bell icon beside. And what happens when you hit the bell icon is that, you know, YouTube gets to notify you that 
you know, Franklin has dropped this next video, right? So you see why it's quite important for you to hit the bell icon. So YouTube will get to notify you on my next video, right? So um, if you've gotten to this point, we've successfully linked up our you know, card to our PayPal account. And thanks so much, guys, for watching this video. I will see you in my next video. Peace.